Hi, welcome to an Arduino tutorial from Robojax. In this video we are going to learn why we need to use a resistor with push button when we use it with Arduino. When I press it now it says low, when I release it it's high. You can get the code for this project by clicking at the link in the description below which will take you to robojax.com slash learn slash Arduino. Let's get started with this. This is an Arduino and you want to connect a push button switch into pin 2. You can do it either this way, that pin 2 is connected to a resistor to the ground. This resistor can be anything greater than 300 uh, ohm. So you can put 1 kilo, 10 kilo, and 20 kilo, all of them will work fine. So this is by default is ground and when you push the button, the 5 volts will be connected and this pin goes high. The second option will be the opposite. The pin is connected high with a resistor greater than 300 ohm and when you push this button you, you connect it to the ground and you make it low. And as you can see the this pin 2 is connected via resistor to four, 5 uh, volts. So this is pin 2. Pin 2 is here connected and then from pin 2 the same resistor is connected here via this wire to 5 volts and if I follow this from pin 2 there is a push button that goes to the ground from pin 2 this is pin 2 I have a push button which has these two pins As you can see these two pins, one is connected here, the other is connected here and the yellow pin, the yellow is connected here to the ground of Arduino. So when I push this button, I'm connecting this pin to the white pin to the ground. When I release it, this, this pin is, uh, the push button is released, not pushed, then this pin 2 is connected via resistor to 5 volts. And here is a demonstration of that. The pin, this is always high. It's connected to 5 volts. When this button is not connected, so this one shows high. When I press this button, you will see on the screen that it says low. When I release it, this is now connected to high, so you can see high. When I push it, it goes low. Now here is this configuration that you see on the screen. Pin 2 is connected via resistor to, to the ground, so this is pin 2, the white wire is pin 2, so pin 2 is connected via this resistor, as you can see, via this resistor to the ground. And then from pin 2 we have connected it to 5 volts when it's pushed. So pin 2 here, this is a push button and then this orange wire goes to 5 volts. The pin is always low, when you push it, it becomes high. And here is a demonstration of it, as you can see it's low, I have not pressed it. But when I press it, so when I press it, it goes high. Because I'm connecting this to 5 volts. And when I press it, it goes high, release, it goes low. But when you want to use a, a push button switch to the ground, you can eliminate the use, usage of resistor and you can use input pull up and internally Arduino will create this virtual resistance between the pen that you are intended to the VCC or 5 volts. This way you are eliminating the usage of uh, resistor. Now let's have a look at the code. And the only difference between uh, previous code and this one is that we just put input and underscore pull up. But if you put this pull up, uh, the system will create a virtual resistance here and it will be always connected to the positive via this resistor. So when you put your push button, we are just checking it to see if it's low. So when you push it, you are connecting this to the ground and this pin will be low. So we check, so we say that button is pushed and otherwise if we say button is not pushed. See here, this is now connected 
from pin 2 to this push button and from the other side of pin 2 is connected to to the ground and as you can see it says this button is not pushed and now when I push it it says button is pushed and I'm holding it release it says button is not pushed and now the noise and those stuff that you are expecting anything get closer to this wire it will not affect it and you can eliminate the usage of resistor and I'm wondering why they they created this pull up and they did not create the pull down so we could have put the push button up and in this case we didn't even need a resistor at all in both cases now the question is what happens if you remove the resistor and just put a push button here to connect it or maybe just put a push button to connect it to the ground let's find out practically I'm going to show you now now this is the case that the push button is connected between pin 2 and 5 volts so from 5 volts I have one wire the orange and from pin 2 I have another one exactly this configuration pin 2 is here and from 5 volt is here and now let's see what happens here is the code as you can see it just goes high and low automatically without me doing nothing of course when I push it it always stays high you see it never goes low but when I release it now you see this goes low high and randomly it goes low and high you see even some noise simple thing with just when I touch this wire it changes for that reason you need to have resistor you see even when my hand gets closer you see when my hand gets closer it changes now I'm, I'm showing you this scenario so when I use this push button the push button is uh, connected between pin 2 and the ground so pin 2 is on one side of this push button and ground is on the other side or not it's low some noise if I touch this wire as you can see it becomes high and low to make the input immune against all these noise and make it stable we need to put resistor so it can work properly now I have connected the resistor to 5 volts so by default it's always high it never changes even if I touch or anything because this resistor yes in the case that if you put for example 10 mega ohm resistor it's possible that it, may not, it might not have any effect it's like open but anything around bigger than 300 1 kilo 10 kilo 20 kilo even 100 kilo ohm will work fine now I have connected back the pin 2 via resistor to ground and on this side of push button is connected to 5 volts as you can see here by default because it's connected via resistor to the ground we are reading low low and when I push it it becomes high and never changes any any noise or anything and if I release it it's low because of this resistor and no noise or anything can change it now let me explain the code uh, I've set inside the setup I've set pin 2 as an input because we are using pin 2 and then we are setting the serial monitor this is the monitor that you when you click and show serial monitor so this will be the serial monitor with 9600 baud the value that you're using is this one it must match at 9600 baud otherwise you will not be able to read it and this is just a text for our information inside the loop we are reading the digital read using digital read we are reading pin 2 and the result of the reading will be stored in a variable called push button of type integer so now this is holding the high or low the value that you read here and we check if push button is equal equal this is comparison equal low then we say parent pin to low which is doing it now because uh, the, uh, the resistor is connected to the ground and then we say else otherwise pin 2 is high now if I push the button you see this will be high release it it will be low and we are just waiting 500 milliseconds and it continues like that thank you for watching this was why you need it to have a resistor with the push button please thumb up the video and also subscribe so you can get updates of my upcoming videos